that when it comes to vaccines and autism, scientists know that it's as close to settled as anything is in the science. There is no causal link. And while that's something we know for sure, there are so many other things in this field that aren't settled science yet but that scientists are just starting to really dig into. Stuff like the fact that all of the bacteria that live in your digestive system, aka your gut microbiome, they're talking to your brain. The gut has its own nervous system, sometimes called the second brain, and it talks to the brain through nerves like the vagus nerve, through hormones and through chemicals made by gut microbes. What we see is that the types of microbes that are in the guts of people with depression, anxiety, and autism look pretty different from people without those conditions. See, folks with autism are much more likely to have digestive issues than neurotypical folks are. And while there's definitely something going on with our brains and our guts, we're still really unclear on how an altered gut microbiome, digestive differences, and symptoms of autism might all be interacting and affecting each other.